Hey, just a real quick video. This is the David Pedasoli uh, Derringer kit, kit Derringer Liegi, L I E G I 44 caliber. Uh, anybody who wants a very simple kit just to get started in um, you know, making your own uh, classic firearms, this is probably a really good starter because it's so simple. Uh, came just like that. Everything's already assembled in the firing mechanism. Barrel is a screw on, screw off. That's the way it came. That's the way it's used. About the only thing I'm going to have to do with this kit is just a little bit of sanding on the, um, on the handle there. Uh, just needs a little bit taken off the bottom, maybe a little bit taken off these sides. And probably I'll get rid of this piece here. But honestly, if, if all you wanted to do, you could just put two screws in here, top and bottom, and uh, that little critter would work. I'm gonna... Yep. Very simple kit. So I'm going to do a bit of sanding on that, maybe I'll put a bit of um, uh, treatment over the handle and uh, maybe just some linseed oil and that will be done and ready to test fire. Okay, so just working on this Derringer Liigi, however you pronounce that. Uh, Almost nothing needed to be done. In fact, I could have just screwed the handle on and it would have been fully functional. Um, but I've just had to, you know, I've just been smoothing it out with some very fine sandpaper, 150 grit at the moment. But I've got a section down under the handle. Not so sure if you can see that, but there's a substantial amount there and I'm never going to get it down with 150 grit. So I'm going to give it a quick hit with the, with the Dremel over this side as well, just a quick trim up and then I'll get back in to um, sanding it down with the, the fine sandpaper. I'm not going to subject you to all this, but I'm just going to do a little bit at a time, keep checking it, see how close I'm getting because I don't want to take it too far. Getting close. All right, so I'm going to keep doing that. I'll get it to where I want it, and uh, then I'm just going to screw on the handle. Okay, so got the handle. I just spent a while um, with the Dremel, a little bit of work with the fine sandpaper. Got that almost to where I need it, and and then I think afterwards I'm just going to. Um, Give it a good coating of linseed oil or something. I just want to get that handle out of the road. Bit, um, trigger out of the road. Unloaded. So I've got two screws to put in, but I want to make sure. Can you see that? It's actually hard to do when you're trying to do a video of it. I don't want to split the wood when I put these screws in. So I want to give it a very tiny pre-drill. There's one. Skipped a bit on where I want 
with that. Grab a screwdriver. Pause that for a minute because I've lost my screwdriver. Okay, let's see if I can't get this to go in. Wrong screwdriver. Just a bleated head. There we go. Sorry if you can't see that. So I'm just screwing. screw it in. Like I said, I pre-drilled it so that it, one, it'll screw in a little bit easier, and two, I've got much less chance of uh, damaging the wood, splitting the wood. Uh, I can see I've still got a little bit more to take out on that corner, which I'll get these screws in, I'll see what I need to do, but it's getting close. Top one. Too bad, just a little bit extra I need to take off there, which it was hard to tell until I got it all screwed together. Now, let's see if I can find a cap. So, this is a kind of an interesting the way you're meant to load this, you're meant to put powder down here. Um, Pretty much I guess up to the max level which is about nine grains and then put the ball on top and then screw this down it says to you uh, it says to use a 4.451 ball I've only got 0.454 so hopefully that'll work when I get out to the range but let's see if it fires once again this is just a cap Nothing flammable around here. Lots of fire. Okay, I'm just going to try out this. Uh, this is a kit that I purchased and finally got around the building. It's a 44 caliber Derringer Liegi kit. It's David Pedasoli in Italy. So, and this is kind of interesting. This little little derringer there. So, very simple kit. I think this would be suitable for anyone who was wanting to start learning, you know, how to build. Didn't quite get the touch there I wanted, but anyway, anyone that's looking to get started in making. Um, their own firearms. This is a good little starter. Really, there was nothing I had to do. I just had to screw the handle on. I did a bit of sanding down with fine 
fine grit sandpaper and uh, uh, just just rub some linseed oil in there and that's that's ready to shoot. I've actually loaded a ball in there already and um, I'm ready to fire it but uh, I will show you how these load up and they're very interesting in the way they load. I'm going to try and get a Try and get a chronograph reading on uh, how quick these things are. <clears throat> I'm using about 10 grains of uh, black powder that uh, could, well, it's not conditioned, but um, uh, yeah, natural black powder. Chronograph's on. Oh, got an error. reading on that one. Bring the camera in here and I'll show you how it's loaded up. Didn't quite get a reading on that. I'll try and stick to my black powder doesn't fall over. So this is a screw barrel. So just unscrew it. And in the center there where you load the powder and I'm guessing it's uh, you fill it up all the way which is about according to the instructions it was nine grains I'm finding about ten grains okay and it's uh, completely full the I'm gonna call it the powder reservoir ball in over, over top and I'm going to fit it like the ball's got a little flat spot on it so I'm going to fit that down and the ball like around the powder reservoir there's actually a, a chamfered in section which is obviously meant for the ball to sit on. The instructions say a, four, a .451 ball but the uh, .454 worked very well as well as I was in soft lane, I guess. And then, you know, after you've got the ball and the powder in there, you simply screw the barrel back on. That uh, pushes the, the ball up into the right hand of the barrel. Uh, 1075 caps but I think it worked just fine with any other brand of cap either 10s or 11s probably 11s would be better alright go back there and see if I can get a, a reading on this uh, chronograph Um, oops, well I got a reading on the chronograph, however, looks like I hit the chronograph with the, <laughs> with the ball, so, oops. Oh, I'm hoping you can buy those replacement parts. I'm going to do one more shot. Oh, I guess I should tell you the got a reading of 269 feet per second with a uh, 0.454 round ball and uh, stuffed up my chronograph. Anyway, I'll uh, I'm going to try the spam can, see how it goes on a spam can. Now it's recording. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do 
here, not a reload of the Leiji revolver kit. Screw off the barrel. Put that at half cock. Pour the powder in. In the book it says nine grains. I guess I'm talking about ten grains of this. Uh, So you want the so you want the powder in there, filling it up all the way. So it's just underneath the ball. Uh, the balls, when I put them in, they've got like a little flat spot just from the, I guess, the casting process or wherever they were made. And I'm putting that down on top of the powder. squeezes the ball down into the rifling of the barrel. Okay, that's ready for a cap and a fire and I'm going to try, I'm going to try hitting the spam can. I'm not sure I like my, life, my chances because last shot I managed to hit my chronograph. So, anyway, so I'll move this. Said spam can. I'm about six to ten feet away. And I missed it. Seems to be shooting really high, hence why I hit my chronograph. So I'm gonna go put another another charge in it, load it up again. Okay, ready to go again. I'm gonna aim underneath the spam can this time. Because it does seem to be shooting high. Not that it's got any sights on it. Missed it again. All right, third time's a charm. Guess not. I, I keep shooting high every time. Finally. Fairly clean like through and through. Didn't really disrupt the can too much. Kind of what I expected. It's according to the chronograph. Before I shot the chronograph, it was about 269 feet per second. Relatively slow, but still nothing I would want to get hit by. I tried to work out what that is in uh, foot pounds to give you an idea. Yeah. That's it, my little Liigi Derringer. A lot of fun to shoot. Uh, I can't say it's accurate because I had trouble hitting the spam can, but uh, definitely fun to shoot. It's also very easy and quick to load. And uh, you know, with, the, with the screw barrel, in the powder, put the ball on top, screw it back together, 
I'll tell you one thing it does worry me a bit by although black powder is not supposed to go off with uh, friction or whatever but black power caught powder caught in the threads of the barrel and the assembly I don't know it just sort of worries me it could somehow ignite but anyway so I'm, I'm careful trying not to get any powder in the on the thread area just because it worries me but all in all nice little pistol one other pretty cool feature that I should have mentioned is that the trigger I guess is like a safety I mean this is meant to be a, a personal protection well, back in the what 1800s this was meant to be a personal protection firearm so I guess you could carry that in the pocket with the trigger folded away made it a little bit safer and so that's half cock put my cap on there now and no trigger so it's not until you actually full cock that the trigger pops down Yeah.